Today is October 10th, 2023. Today I realized something that I have that I have always known about. It's a clear form of it's a clear form of uh, fear of missing out. The terminology of missing out is incredibly subconscious. And this morning is a prominent example of what I did because it is a change up of what I've been doing in the past. Recently as yesterday, I was waking up later so that I could get to the office a little bit later. But, but then what I ended up doing yesterday was waking up early. And so I was up before the market was open. And what that does is causes the causes me to uh, what it does is it causes me to get all stirred up, anxious and uh, anticipatory and eager, and it builds up this it builds builds up this nervous energy to to trade and when I first see something, I'm just blinded and there is this, uh, there is this subconscious that just clicks and makes it happen. The subconscious looks for what it wants to trade and whether I have sufficient amount of money to buy a particular option. And when something fits within my watch list, I jump in and, and enter with um, total disregard for the setup. And I've observed this on numerous occasions uh, last year, and I'm reverting back to this particular situation, uh, revisiting it uh, again. The reason why it's doing that is because uh, I was in a state of, for the past several months, it has it has been in a state of incredible nervousness and and tension and uh, and and. It finally erupted uh, yes, uh, yesterday. It finally erupted. It, it erupted. It just it had to be erupted in order to disclose the 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 environment that was causing me to have this anxiety uh, in, in, inside me. Fortunately, um, fortunately, the right person was contacted, and the matter was seriously dealt with my issue was seriously dealt with and there is a resolution otherwise this anxiety would have it felt like if it it reminded me of it reminded me of uh, several years ago uh, prior to the finalization of this criminal proceedings that got me to felony and I'm like I I was like without even knowing anything I was subconsciously in the throes of caffeine and uh, and staying up and not even be able to sleep and uh, because there was this dark cloud that had built up inside me the dark cloud was actually just inside my head inside my skull it was like it was like floating in in my brain and my heart would race and uh, i couldn't get any sleep and this time around uh it it got very very uh it got very very uh it got very, very conscious. It, it, it I, I was like very, very fearful of what the possibilities were, what, what could happen if something were to keep proceeding in a manner that, that, that involved me, uh, and uh, fortunately, fortunately. Uh, that was dealt with so now I can I can relax I can I can relax I can relax and allow my reasoning side to take over instead of having to breathe one quarter of the way and then exhale one quarter of the way 
shallow breathing. Now I can take a deeper breath, understanding that the difficult path had been crossed. And that, and that my intention, my intention is to really devote as much time as possible to day trading. Dishwashing serves to help me survive, but it, it, cannot, it cannot be the end all because my body will weaken soon and my ankle may give out. And when I do that and my brain decides to wither away, I'm going to lose my chance to, to make this day trading work. And I was fearful. I was extremely, extremely fearful that something could, something could, something could endanger the journey that I was in in order to make this really work. I have to make this work. I'm not, I'm not an 18 year old or a 20 year old or a 30, even a 30 year old who, who, who has time. Somebody who's, who's 30 years old, 10 years, even though it's a long time, that's a short amount of time compared to me. I'm 54 years old. In eight more years of this, I'm gonna be a senior citizen very, very soon. When this legal escapade finally draws to a conclusion, I'm going to be a senior citizen. I'm already gray and, uh, and I'm living in a room, a nine by nine room. This is very, very serious. For people who are young that I work with, they don't get it. Everything is a joke. Everything is funny. But for somebody like myself, who's who's reaching elderlyhood, seniorhood, this is a very, very serious matter. If I don't take this seriously, I'm going to be just like that guy that I'm sharing a room with, uh, a house with. I'm going to be just like that guy who I met at Winko. Unless I, unless I figure something out, unless I really devote myself to get this thing working. Even at the sacrifice of working uh, less hours so that I have to pinch pennies in order to survive from day to day. I have to increase the amount of time that I spend and devote into day trading so that I could see this thing through. And once I see this thing through, I know that I have a far better chance of reconnecting with my kids. That is, that is the primary objective and, and, and and young people just don't get it. They don't, they don't get it because they have all the time in the world. They, they don't get it. So, right now, I am, I have now the opportunity to devote more time to day trading at the sacrifice of, at the sacrifice of the immediate comfort that I have and with everything that's surrounding me with everything that's here God has allowed everything for me to everything it has allowed me to continue with this journey and it is is opening up subtle little uh, avenues of further understanding of what things are going on as to understanding how day trading works and today I made a, um, I made that particular uh, trade incorrectly because of this, this uh, mental, uh, mental issue that was fogging up uh, my mind. And I pray now, I pray now things will be, things will now click together. And so Practically everyone knows now that my primary focus is to make this thing work. Make this journey really, really work. Give it a, give, give the most optimal amount of chance that I can provide by giving the time, the energy, and 
the work that I do in the background needs to take a uh, side step so that I can I can I can make this thing I, so that I can give this a serious try before I'm too old. This could take this could take 10 to 15, 20, maybe 20 years. I may be I may be talking about this like in year 30, th uh, 33. Of course, my computer will be obsolete. Hopefully, I'll have something that I bought. My car is already at 50,000 miles, and chances are another 50,000 miles will be very, very hard to achieve. At least I got my registration taken care of today with the little amount of money that I made based on the generosity of a Westside drive-in by employing me and paying me and allowing me to eat, allowing me to allowing me to go to the store, allowing me to put fuel in my car. So I appreciate this 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 moment. I do. And uh, so it was it was this it was it was that if anything it was that it was that emotional uh, I would say like it was an emotional uh, expansion. It's an ex emotional expansion of of myself that caused me to be frazzled and frizzled and uh, and and got lost in in that situation, which created which vacated the reasoning side to make day trading my first priority. So that's where I am today, and uh, and hopefully now this journey will take a stronger and more meaningful and a deeper and a stronger path to to making it work. Um, who knows? Who knows? Maybe the fact that I bought a uh, a course from somebody who spent this, it might speed up the process of me becoming consistently profitable. 